everybody uh, today we're going to do some more rearranging of fish and some tank maintenance uh, the angelfish tank here is going to get a good once over uh, it was not long ago that I did a video and I showed everybody the before and after and a lot of people uh, were commenting that they liked the before much better than the after because of all the roots and the water sprite looks so beautiful etc and I agree, I like it better that way too, but I told everybody, rest assured, it will not be long at all before the tank is full again. And here we are, it's been a couple of weeks and I'm ready to pull a bunch of water sprite out of the tank again because it's getting overflown. Uh, or overgrown rather, I'm sorry. Um, this tank is going to get changed out first because this tank is the one I actually want to work on. It's loaded with that green slime uh, cyanobacteria. And I finally got some treatment for it. I'm going to put a little bit of time and effort into this tank, and I'm going to really do a good once-over. So I don't see any point in treating a tank with more fish in it than needs to be if I'm going to be in there cleaning it and disturbing it. I, you know, no need in stressing the fish out. So those two angelfish are now big enough, and I got some of the more aggressive angelfish out of the angelfish tank we were just looking at. Uh, so these two are going to go into that angelfish tank uh, first. And then once they're out of this tank, you know, I don't have a lot of choice about the other fish being in there. So I'm going to have to go ahead and do all my major cleaning and maintenance and everything with those fish in the tank. Uh, but the angelfish, at least I can get out of there. So before I take the angelfish out of there, since I'm going to need to do a big water change and cleaning on this tank in the very near future anyway, I may as well go ahead and do that now, get that out of the way, and then I can move them right into this tank and let them sort of settle in before I have to do any more major work to it. And then that'll free up that 20 long we were just looking at uh, for me to start getting in there and doing some work on that. The other thing I want to do, and I'm probably going to tie that into uh, this video, I'm going to make this a little bit of a before and after video for this uh, angelfish tank here. And that is, I just released a video where I talked about the nitrates in your canister filter being identical to the nitrates that are in your tank and I said one of these days I was going to go ahead and actually put my money where my mouth was and I was going to test that theory so today's the day we're going to do that when I've got that filter apart we're going to do a major cleaning and uh, we are going to take some samples directly from the canister we're going to compare them from the tank um, we're going to just do a little bit of experimenting with that a little later in this video so we're going to find out whether or not I was blowing smoke or I knew what I was talking about because I just said that I've never tested the canister before I'm just assuming uh, based on what I know about how total dissolved solids work, um, I'm just assuming that that is going to be the case. So this is going to actually be putting that to the test for the first time, and I'm going to do it on video. So if I'm wrong, we're all going to find out together. So sit tight, let me get started on this, and I'll uh, pick you up here when we get to the filter part. Here we are a little further along. I have actually so far done a gravel vac. So I have collected this filthy water. I've already taken a water sample from that in a vial. And when I took it, I made sure I swirled the water around. You can see it's still actually swirling in there. Um, but I made sure it was all stirred up. So I actually have physical detritus in my test vial to ensure that we got the filthiest, dirtiest bottom water we could get. And that was all vacked right up out of that corner underneath of where it gets collected in underneath that plant. The next thing we were going to do is we we're going to take a sample out of my filter box here. Um, the reason we're shooting some video now is because I need to go dump that water out and start putting the contents of this uh, filter, all the different trays go in that bucket and then I will go ahead and dump the uh, water out of the bucket or out of the canister uh, box here and before I do that I'm going to take a sample. So I did want to show you what sample number two looks like. Sample number one was actual fresh tank water before we got started right off the top right in front of where the spray bar is. Uh, the freshest water possible. Sample number two is going to be out of that bucket that I did a gravel vac and sample number three is going to be when I'm done pulling all the muck and everything the filthiest dirtiest water I can get out of the bottom of that canister bucket uh, is going to be sample number three and then we're going to go ahead and make all three of those samples together. We're going to test them for nitrites and nitrates and we're going to see how every one of them stacks up against each other and I'm still betting that they're going to be three identical tests. So let me keep going and we'll catch up with you here in a few minutes on the next segment. Alright everybody, this is the one that's going to count so I want you to see this. Uh, that is the filter media. The rest of what the other trays I have in there are basically nothing more than a biofiltration. Uh, so that's the physical 
filter and that is the water we are going to be sampling from. So there's your sample. Now if you're not satisfied that that was a sample from your filter, I don't know what would satisfy you. Actually I need to top that completely off because I'm going to use some of that water in a different kind of test. Uh, so there you go. Now let's go start testing all three samples. Remember this is number three. Number two was out of the bucket that was drained um, from the gravel vac. And then the first sample was the fresh aquarium water. So let's go get started and we'll see how this turns out. Alright everybody, as you can see I've got some tests prepared. The three cavity trays that you see are samples from left to right, one, two, and three. Uh, we start with the Seachem test by testing for nitrites. You add one drop of the liquid that's in this little black uh, dropper here and you wait a few minutes and that color will give you your nitrite. And then you add a little scoop of this powder here and that will give you your nitrate. So I've just checked for nitrites and as you can see there's no discernible amount. There's no discernible difference from one tray to the next. Um, so again we've got no nitrites and now it's going to be moving on to test for the nitrates and that test takes a little longer to bloom so I'm going to get started on that and we will see if there's any discernible difference between sorry about that uh, the water from the tank the water from the gravel vac and the water from the canister filter and you can actually see all the crud in the bottom of the one from the canister filter you can see some crud in the one from the gravel vac and you can see a clear bottom in the one we took out of the aquarium water so sit tight for one more moment, let me get started on this and I'll be right back. Alright, now that we've had a few minutes to let that color bloom, we can see that there is absolutely no color difference whatsoever on the nitrates either. Uh, the vial again to the left is the vial from the uh, surface of the tank and you can see it's very clear, there's nothing floating in it. This is the vial from the canister filter and as you can see there's a great deal of scummy nasty stuff floating in it and yet the nitrate levels in this water are the exact same as the tank water and as the exact same as the bucket water that came out of the gravel vac so that pretty much sums it up and wraps it up people there is no place in your tank where you've got accumulated nitrates or nitrates uh, it just doesn't work that way as I suspected all along everybody there's your after and that's pretty much the video I just wanted to uh, get a little before and after to show you the tank and I wanted to show you my process of going through those tests to see if we could come up with a uh, variance at all from one part of the tank to the next and indeed we did not as I expected now you can already see I'm starting to get a little bit of aggression from the angels now that I've moved those two from the other tank into this one and it'll be a day or two I'm just gonna let everybody sort of sort things out and decide who's who and uh, I'll keep my eye on that very closely. If I wind up getting too much aggression and it doesn't settle down over the next day or two, I'll have to move those angelfish back into the tank I just pulled them out of. So we have begun treatment on that one as well. And I'll be doing some updates on that here over the next two days. It needs uh, 48 hours of treatment and then I'll get in there and do my first uh, cleaning cycle between treatments and then I'll do a second treatment uh, just to be sure I get it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.